For centuries, the Italian countryside has been home to artists and winemakers alike. The landscape is a work of art in itself, so it's no surprise that deep in the heart of Chianti lies Nitardi, a winery once owned by that superstar of the Renaissance, Michelangelo. Four and a half centuries after he owned it, wine is being made at Nitardi again. In tribute to Michelangelo, wine and art are being brought together in an interesting way. So I have to say, if there's a better place to find a wine to take back to Joe for this challenge, I'll eat your hat. It's extraordinary to me, uh, the preservation of these older Italian buildings. I mean, yeah. th this doesn't look that old, and yet apparently the tower is from the 12th century. That's incredible. There's yeah. a lot of sculpture going on. Like Rodin's garden. It is Rodin-esque, isn't it? Yeah. It always makes me feel a bit queasy, sculpture. I never feel like I have the intellect to deal with it, understand it. She looks in pain. She looks like she's had... Well, I think I've adopted that position after a few bottles of Chianti Classico in the last few days. Nitardi's owners, Stefania Canali and her son, Leon Fermert, don't limit their love of art to having sculpture in the grounds. They've made it integral to the wine itself. Every year since 1981, they've invited an artist to create a label for their most exclusive wine, the Casanova de Nitardi Vigna Dohesa, a rather fine Chianti Classico, housed in a rather fine tasting room. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Oh, it's a nice temperature in here. When, when did this all begin? Well, Michelangelo, yes. his uh, nephew was the manager ah. of this property. So, and he sent the first wine of Nitardi to Rome, in the 16th century, and said, I prefer to send uh, a genuine gift to the Pope, which was a Tuscan Pope. Because he was working for the Pope at that time. Ah. He was painting the 16th yeah. chapel. Oh, of course. Of course. And then kind of, he gave it to the Pope as a, as a present. Yes. Yeah. What did yeah. the Pope say? Did, did he like it? Uh, yeah, apparently, yes. Uh, Michelangelo tells Leonardo that the Pope appreciated the wine a lot. From that first wine being sent to Rome, Nitardi has grown into a world-class winery, currently making six different wines. The top of their range is the Casa Nuova, a 100% Sanchevese wine made from grapes grown in one vineyard, the Vigna de Hesa. 1981, I just married a German uh, gallerist. Mm -hmm. So my husband, which is still my husband, <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> underline it. <laughs> He knew many artists. Yeah. We were sitting mm -hmm. with an artist, Bruno Bruni. Together we had this idea to make the label and we also make, make a paper. So we make two pieces of art, a label for the bottle and a special paper to envelop mm. the bottle, which is to the second, to wrap, mm -hmm. which is the second piece of art. So two originals. I, I think that your wine is always so emotional. No? Mm -hmm. You drink wine, you drink wine with people, with friends and it, it's something that connects a lot. And this is so similar in art as well. And this is why we like to, to I think, combine these two different things, to tell the story where the wines come from and, again, what is in the bottle. Mm. It's been more than three decades since that first label and wrapper. And since then, some of the world's most prominent artists have created work for Nitardi. Yoko Ono make a beautiful label. The 2005 label. Imagine you. This one here, the 80s. This was a, a, a Hungarian Austrian artist. The name is very difficult, Herzlika. And then, and this was the paper, which is a spectacular paper. This is a, an English Australian Jewish woman, um, Barbara Crawford, Brandeis. Yes, yeah. And so every year they came, I don't know, from all over. Oftentimes, I'd imagine that people drink the bottle and then it becomes, it becomes a collector's item, something they want to hold on to in their house, because each year... Sure. Yeah. I, I, I think, think we should have a glass of wine. I, yeah, I absolutely. Want to really we almost yeah. talked ourselves into a yeah. So let's try the first one we try is a Chianti Classico. It's called Bel Canto. So guys, cheers. 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 Salute. 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 So this is Sangiovese with a little bit of other local grape varieties. So it's a very classic, very traditional San Ju uh, Chianti Classico, mm. which, <laughs> which shows really much the, the, the history mm. of our area, of the Chianti Classico area. Mm. It's quite, quite a young one. It's quite yeah, it's yeah. 2013, so it's very fresh. Yeah, yeah. sprightly. It's fun. Yeah. The next wine we're going to try is Casanova, 
and this is a 2012, so it's a German artist. He's actually 101 years old now. Wow. 101 wow. years. And he painted the painting last year, so he was 100 when he painted yeah. uh, the two paintings. And so and it's 100% Sangiovese. Oh, great. So I love this wine. Yeah. I love it because it's, it's, I think it's, it has this beautiful punginess of Sangiovese. And it's, it's very long on the palate. It's like you say, it's, it does have a long finish, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it stays with mm. you a bit. Good. So it's a bit more powerful than mm. the first one. Mm. Mm. It's really nicely balanced, actually. Mm. Thirteen and a half percent but works really nice. Yeah. Much mm. more. Mm. It's big and it's bold. It's as bold as the, as the, as and as artistic as the label that's in, you know that's on it. And I think yeah. that's. I think that that's one of the things that is the part of the story of Natardi. I, f I feel more artistic. For two, well, for two things that you always say, you, sh you know, it's it's difficult to label art, difficult to label, you know, taste. Yeah. You've, you've, you've created the perfect marriage. Mm. I'm feeling incredibly inspired. Goody, I think we should just take back one wine, but create two labels. Joe can choose which one he likes best. Ooh, I like that idea. You're not going to get all competitive on me, are you? Me? Competitive? Of course not. I can't draw for toffee. It's embarrassing. Their wine deserves something a hell of a lot better than we're going to be able to deliver. So it's not competition there. No. Reese? Reese? Mm. Crayola. Si. Sí. Interestivo. Draw. Draw. You draw. I, I, I can't draw. You can I? I'm not very good at drawing. I was never any good. That's why I joined drama club. Best foot forward, I guess. Plus, I'm not sure what these are. Have you started? Yeah. Have we started? Yeah. Oh, God, why didn't anyone tell me? Great, Reese. Oh, shut up. Cheers, darling. <laughs> 